Okay guys, so I love to start off with making these pipes by just drawing it out and so that's what you see me doing here. I have an idea of the materials I want to use for each pipe and then all I do is I just sketch out using those colors until I see something that I like. And originally I was going to make the bowl completely wrapped in copper pipe and then by the time I got going and I got the piece on the lathe, something else ended up coming of it and I ended up being really happy with it. So it's kind of... It's free form for most of these things, I just go with it. Sometimes I have a really good idea of what I want to make and sometimes I have no idea at all what I want to make. So right here to drill the bowl hole, I'm using this router bit I believe, I don't know, it's some old bit that doesn't have a bearing and it's super sharp so it, it's awesome. It's got some kind of numbering on it, I, I could figure that out. If you really want to know what the specific bit is, comment down below and I will get that to you. The information obviously, I need to keep the bit because it's the only one I have. So the sap wood on the bowl there, I just, I really wanted to keep it. I didn't want to make it into a pipe and I realized that after I cut this piece off. I am very pleased with the way it turned out though, so I'm, I'm okay with it being used for this. She's using the radial arm saw there, take care to leave my hand on the handle until it's stopped, and then leave it almost all the way out until it's stopped too. And here I'm just gluing on an extra little piece, just so that uh, when I turn on the lathe, it doesn't end up marring up the bottom of the bowl. So I could have just had a deeper piece, but it wasn't really necessary. So this piece ended up getting cut off after I clamped it up. And then this is just an old blank from a twisted pipe I had. And basically what it is is a bunch of cubes with the holes already drilled in it, lined up and tightened together on a uh, carriage bolt with a wing nut and some washers. That's how it was attached. and. That's how it was all clamped together. So it's a super simple uh, way to drill a long hole, I guess, is to just segment it up like that. And the glue usually holds pretty good for it being end grain because the, there's so much glue between it that it just ends up holding pretty well. So I'm just turning this on the lathe real quick and I ended up not liking the lines between the segments uh, because they were pretty faint. You could see them. It just looked like they weren't supposed to be there. So that's when I used a parting tool to make a couple lines in the piece. Okay, so here we've got uh, a problem, and what I had to do is I had to put the, the stand back on so that I could get rid of a flat spot that I didn't notice was still there. So I had to put that back on and I had to just get rid of that flat spot real quick and then I could continue sanding. So that's something you definitely want to check over before you take your tool rest off because it is a pain to have to put the tool rest back on just to do a little bit of work.
definitely not the safest way to be doing things, but it's, it's a way. I guess better than this might have been using some wood jaw clamps, just because quick clamps don't necessarily always hold as well as they should, but I was definitely keeping myself away from the bandsaw. What I was doing here was just turning it into the block you're seeing now. Chucked it up on the lathe, and there we go. Just gonna turn it. There wasn't anything special about this, I just turned it on the lathe like that. And here I'm just using a very, very thin curve fine toothed saw to cut off the extra little bit of the pipe stem and then the pipe bowl in a little bit. And it's this saw cuts on a pull stroke and I'm just very lightly cutting it. There isn't much material that actually has to come off because there's a 3 8 hole through the middle of this pipe. Now just take notice real quick. Do you see how off-center that hole was? That is because I don't have a way of centering it on the spur center of my lathe. I will be making another center for my lathe in the near future in the machine shop uh, at school just so that it, I can have a 3 8 hole in the middle of a piece and have it centered on the tailstock and the headstock if that makes any sense because right now I just have to eyeball the center because my spur has four teeth on it and then the center pin is very small so that is something I need to get done so that I can actually have centered pieces on both sides and then turning between centers will be perfectly fine for turning pipes. Notice that this is a twist and press fit. It's twist easier to twist it to get it to go in a bit, but that is a press fit, and I did that by turning a taper while I was on the lathe, and I knew that, uh, that it was about that size that it needed to be. I didn't actually measure anything, and I had that drill bit. So here we've got some Terra Nova Nature Oil, I believe. It's like a salad bowl finish. I just use that to finish up most of the pipes. So you see me doing that here.
And to finish the inside of the pipes here, what I do is I use like a little eyedropper syringy thing or whatever it is, and I suck up a little bit of that salad bowl finish and then I pour it on the inside. Now this just helps get rid of a lot of the little tiny dust and sawdust and stuff just so that it's out of the way so that the first person to use the pipe doesn't have to breathe all that in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I did just realize that this is the first pipe that I've numbered the wrong way. This is upside down. It's usually supposed to say DCP from the top down if the stem is standing up. So this is kind of like a misfit. It's like a mistake, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, anyways, pipe number 50 for sale on my Etsy shop. Depending on when you guys are seeing this video, it might still be there, it might not be, but definitely go check out my Etsy shop. There's going to be all kinds of stuff on there, pipes, wood burnings, I haven't had any up there yet, but there will be some. I'm just loving this. I was originally going to put copper wire on here. I don't know if you guys saw that part of the video, but I decided not to. I decided against it, and I, I just, I love this. This looks so nice. I love the grain that's on this piece of wood. I originally didn't even want to use it because I thought that it was too pretty and I was going to ruin it with this, but I ended up preserving it. It's just, I'm really pleased with this. This is, I like it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.